Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. Um, please just check out the description box. You got a bunch of useful links down there. Um, you got my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you can. Like, subscribe if you can. If you can, it's all good. Let's keep watching because today we're talking about the uh, the game class again. So we're going to keep working on the game class and just uh, filling this out, trying to make main into just a little former shadow of itself so we don't want anything in main basically um, the next step for us would be to actually um, to actually get all these matrices and initialize them in the game class okay and somehow start off this render process and the update process in um, in the game class as well so let's just get started uh, we need a, another function then in game.h. I'm gonna need another function called initialize um, initialize void init matrices, right? It's gonna be a function as well, and uh, that's OpenGL context matrices. Later on, we're gonna have a camera class. So, but for now, we're just gonna have the view matrix, just like we have it in here in our main. So I'm just going to go up to init matrices, view matrix. So this is all the camera positions and stuff. Um, FOV is the projection matrix. Okay, so we're going to make two matrices here. Um, GLM mat4 view matrix like that. And then GLM mat4 projection matrix. So now we have these two matrices. Now we just need to give them their data that they require. So this needs a GLM vec3 cam posi position. GLM vec3 world up. GLM vec three uh, cam front and then we have our projection matrix which needs a float FOV a float near near plane and a float far plane there we go so now we have everything um, related close to each other like that. Let me just think here. So we have frame buffer width, we have everything. Now we need to initialize these. If I go into game.cpp, we have our init variables spot right here. I did initialize all of these. Uh, now I need to initialize the variables for, for the camera or for the view. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to say this cam position what you know what I'll just I'll copy paste this and this let me just copy paste all of this copy paste all of that because that's probably what we're gonna need anyway I'm just gonna paste that in there now it's gonna look really bad in the beginning but I'm gonna say this view matrix equals GLM mat for one so I'm gonna initialize the view matrix I'm gonna set this view matrix to look at this camera position I'm gonna increase this as well uh, this cam position plus this cam front and then this world up easy peasy right and then uh, if we go here there we go there we go um, let's see Error type cam position cam front. Did I spell it right? Position. Position. There we go. So no more errors. Okay, so that was a spelling mistake. My bad. And we initialize that. Now we need to initialize these uh, these uh, variables. So that's what I had them initialized to. I'm gonna say Control X on that. 
and I'm going to paste it in front instead equals so this cam position equals glmvec3 position why is that such an issue I don't understand was it because I had pos pos position here okay all right so if you ever get an error that's because I misspelled that um, then I'm just gonna paste that there and paste that there as well say equal to not a smiley face just straight up equal to there we go and remove that and just add this so there you go. so all of these variables are now set and we're gonna sadly have to do the same thing for this uh, these three variables here so now I initialize those and I'm going to say control X on that boom so this is just basically about copy pasting code and it really helps us in the future when when we want to go back and we want to change stuff and we have a game class we can easily add things to it it makes it a lot easier so it's worth all of this trouble and I showed you the main in the main function just for training purposes right and this is more of like when you're making your engine or you want to make some kind of a, a bigger game project or anything like that so it makes it a little easier uh, GLM perspective now it's not that much left actually don't worry too much if you're freaking out don't worry about it um, as you keep coding all of this you'll get it you'll get it eventually if you still have not it. it's just about copy pasting code and I'll put all of this up on github like I say just so you know so you can just go there and you can pick it up uh, I just need to see what's going on okay so we have a little more time and then this is initializing the variables now what I did here I'm gonna do all this in another function called init matrices okay so I'm gonna just control period enter on that so I'll get that function I'll look it up here first of all I'll copy I'll copy that I'll copy this we won't need this but I'll copy that and I'll remove this on top and I'll remove this here as well and then I'm gonna say uh, right here this init matrices go to main um, no go to go to game.cpp again sorry on the bottom here somewhere we should have that definition now we should have it oh here it is here it is okay so init matrices and I'll just post that in there and I'll remove that because we don't need it um, so I just posted everything in here so now we have our init matrices function so this is gonna just initialize the matrices we're gonna need another function which which will update these matrices uh, each time we render all right and we could technically use init matrices here and it would uh, it would be fine we could use that in the render as well because we want to reset it each time we update it mm, but we'll we'll get to that as we get to the render function it, sh it shouldn't be that big of a problem because what render is going to do is going to initialize the uh, matrices and it's going to set a program for the shader and it's going to render everything just like if we look in main we're kind of going to have the same order here so you know what? we can just copy paste all of this into game for now just for now we're not going to really use it um, and we're just going to keep these because that's the reset and we can make a private function for that as well just reset render and uh, then we can swap the buffers and everything render something activate textures use a program update matrices um, and update uniforms clear input okay so we have the basic order here right so I'm just gonna remove all of this uh, let me see poll events update input I'm gonna remove that I'm gonna remove that I'm gonna keep that update uniforms um, project prediction matrix look here so we could update our view matrix and everything here if we wanted to uh, we don't have to update our view matrix right now since we don't have a camera going in that sense but uh, we could do that here if we wanted to so I'm just gonna remove that core program 
remove all the render stuff. So we kind of have a little template to work with next time in the next videos to come. So, but this is the basic template. This just resets everything. Reset. So, uh, so that's good. And then we're going to have to grab all these update input functions. And we're going to have to put them in in game so we can use them later on. Because it's a great way. We have a window and then we can just control it through this function. Like what should happen, what should not happen and everything. But we're going to have to update it in the update function. So we're going to have to go into our update function here. And we're going to have to do update input in here instead. Instead of in here, right? So we're going to just remove that. Actually, we'll just do that. Update input. And then this is the render. So, yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. Anything relating to rendering will be in here. Everything else will be in update. Okay? And then when we run it, we'll do an update first and a render after it. So, but that's cool, guys and girls. I think that's about it for this video before it's too long. Um... Yeah, thank you for watching as always. I hope you learned something. I hope you're getting the idea of why we're doing this and why we're separating everything. So yeah, just keep watching the videos, rewatch it or just go check out the code on GitHub if you want. The links are in the description. There's a bunch of links, useful links again. Please drop a like or subscribe if you can. Um, but yeah, thank you anyway for watching and I really appreciate all the support, all the nice comments and if you need any help, just co just contact me in the comment section or through uh, through the email I linked in the description. So yeah, thank you very much. Take care. Best of luck to all of you. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.